Hey everyone, Solar Primal here. Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. And we, in this part, well, there was one little special thing that I noticed here in the Battle Frontier that we could do that I was unaware of. So, uh, gonna head down over this way. We passed a couple of things, a couple of places that we were fighting at. Let's talk to this person. Excuse me, young one. Um, you have good eyesight. There was an odd tree past here, and my eyes are dumb. Uh, I am too. My, uh. They saw something. Looks like a weird tree, and it wiggled. Now, if you've played Pokemon games before, especially second generation, you may know what that is. Now, what would look like a tree and what move? Haha! Uh -huh. I knew it. Penis tree. No, I'm kidding. This is actually one of those Pokemon that you can catch that you normally couldn't. I'm trying to figure out what would be the best strategy for this so I don't demolish it. Because I don't want to do that. I don't want to wreck it too much. He still has Swift, right? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, <laughs> this will do it. So, we're going to find out. Let's just talk to it. It gives this little shake. Yeah, it's doing a little shake. Uh, right, something. The whale. Well, more tail. Let's try to use it. Look at that. Using it. The weird tree doesn't like the whale the tail. The weird tree attacked. Well, there you go. Because if you don't know, Sudowoodos, despite looking like a tree, are made of rock. So using the water on it like that, it's like, ah, oh, hell no, you ain't gonna start that on me, I don't know why I went for that voice, but there you go, and he's part rock, so, oh no, he blocked me, I can't escape now, so there we go, so there you go, this is Sudowoodo, I don't have much else to show for this, uh, and he has nothing to attack me with, apparently, so that's good, that's good, um, I've always wanted to use a pseudo on my team. I think I tried. Oh yeah, that, yeah, childhood stories. Uh, uh, back at, back with like gold and silver, I tried to use one one time. But then my friend, my neighbor friend, uh, he went ahead and used it, and he saw me trying to, and he was like, "Oh, don't copy me. You always copy me," and which I didn't. Well, I didn't copy him at all, but he felt I was copying him, he wanted to feel unique, so I was like, you know what, bud, you can have it. You can have your little, uh, right there. I think we have a... Yeah, we got one. Let's see if it works. Why not? Because he is technically weaker. That's what nest balls do, and it didn't work. Okay, well, we tried. And rocks like this. Good. Okay, let's just use the ultra balls. Should be able to get this down pretty quick here. Give a couple shakes. And. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love it when a plan comes together. Alright. Sudabudo. It mimics a tree to avoid being attacked by enemies. But since its four legs remain green, huh? therefore, uh, throughout the year, it is easily identified as a fig tree in the winter. I think meant four legs as in arms. Because that's the only thing green I see on it. Are we gonna name him? Nah. It's okay. But Sudowoodo, pretty cool Pokemon. And it was cool in fourth generation, they gave him a pre evolution, uh, Bonsly. Again, I would love to actually try and use one uh, in my team. Because why the heck not? Same seemed pretty cool. I don't know. Leave a comment down below why I shouldn't. Ever. I'll look more into it on my own time, but, well, there you go. That must have been the quickest episode ever. So, well, that's all we had to do here. That was, I could look at the Battle Frontier shops, but I don't think I have enough, uh, I think this, no, this looks like a contest. I don't know, Battle Point Exchange Fair. Okay, this is the place, I guess. Looks like it. Cool. Like, I could look at these things, but, again, I don't think I got enough IP, uh, BP points to... Oh, you can just do a thing. Oh, she's starting to ask you, I want it. Ja, 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 I want it. 
Okay. I, I only have 26 VP. So, if you want any of those, they force you. To, why would you bother buying that? Just use your money. You can fight the Elite Four infinitely. You know, they don't get any stronger, so... Ooh, leftovers. That would be nice. Um... Yeah, there's some good items, you know, they, they emphasize more on this in 4th generation, which I liked it in 4th generation. In this, it didn't really jive with me. Ew. What the heck? A kiss cushion. That's when you get the... A, 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 a vexectomy? I can't say it properly. You gotta sit there and you get that little hole in the middle so that it doesn't hurt. Um, my audience is probably too young to know what that is. Oh uh, no, I don't have enough to buy any of these things. Uh, I think one of them sells TMs, or unless that's just in the other generations. But anyways, so that's all I can really do for this episode, because Battle Frontier is done! In terms of that, because I'm not going to grind out the levels and stuff, because it's just... Ooh, I just can't, guys. It's... This game's almost done, I'm not gonna prolong it any more than I have to, so... So anyways, in the next part, uh, we have another Pokemon to catch. And after that, it'll be the finale. So that's exciting. Alright, so till then you guys, this is Solar Primal, sign out. And, bye for now.